Hi everyone, it's Lynette with Charm Grammy Crochet. We all know I can't see with my glasses on, so I gotta get rid of them. Um, thanks for joining me. I just wanted to pop in for a couple minutes. Um, I life is getting in the way of my crochet, and it's really getting a little upsetting, don't you know? There's just a lot going on at home, and I haven't had a great deal of time to crochet, so this is all the further I am on the second you know, the one I'm making the tutorial out of for the child's reader. So I'm a little disappointed with that, but it's still coming along. I've got filming done. Um, so we figured that out. So that's good news. Um, secondly, it's very chilly today, but I get to wear my reader because it's very chilly today. <laughs> it's raining and dark and yucky. Um, but the reader is very comfy. I like it a lot. So that's thing number two. Thing number three, have you all seen Ross the Smelly Guy's yarn haul? Holy cow. Can you believe it? That man is scored big time. I can't even imagine. He probably didn't spend $50, it doesn't look like, except he got a lot, a lot of yarn. But a lot of it at like 50 cents a skein. So I went on to Hershner's and I'm like, oh, I'm going to score. Nothing. I bought nothing. I know. That's weird, right? But I didn't buy a darn thing. They did, anything that they had, like in the 50 cents, there was like two, two or three things and they were out of stock by the time I got to the 50, you know, by the time I got onto it. So I was a little disappointed with that, but... I got plenty of yarn, so that's okay. And on um, a good bright side, I went to DollarTree.com, and I actually was able to order six. Oh no, wait. I don't know if it's. I don't remember if it's twelve or eighteen skeins of yarn. I can't remember if I got six of three different ones or t six of two different ones. And so far, I, I did that this morning. I have keep trying every day. They send me emails. This is what's why I'm reading. I ordered. They canceled my order. The next day, they sent me an email saying, oh, look what we've got back in. Something you've been looking at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I tried to order. Can't order. Can't order. Can't order. They keep canceling it. Um, not letting it go through. Saying that my credit card, debit card, whatever doesn't work. Um, that the account number is wrong. And I'm like, no, that's the right account number. 15 times I put it in there. It's the same damn number. Ooh, same darn number. Very aggravating. So then I give up. And then I tried again because they sent me another email. And now they have an additional color yarn. I'm like, oh my goodness, I have to. And now they're letting me ship it to the store. And I'm like, oh, yay, score. So um, today, and, and then, it does, then it doesn't take my card. It does site just stops working so but this morning I don't know it was about six o'clock in the morning I got on there when I was getting my cup of coffee I'm sitting oh, 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 oh I dropped you sorry so sorry about that that was like a roller coaster ride wasn't it uh anyway so Hershner's let me order I can't remember if it was two I wasn't even all the way awake yet, so maybe I was just dreaming it. We'll find out. So far, I haven't gotten an email saying that they are not allowing the order. So I'm like, okay, I got that to go through. They accepted it. I'm happy. But they have colors that I didn't get to order that I still wanted. So I'm going to go back. And I'm not going to mess up the one that was, like, letting it go through. Because literally, I probably tried five or six different credit cards, debit cards, every time and they always say no it doesn't work it doesn't work it doesn't work card numbers wrong is what they keep saying I'm like it's not wrong <laughs> I don't know what to tell you it's not wrong so anyway to this morning I want the the one that's called Sands or something I really really want that one and I want I want like a dozen of them but I don't think I got a dozen of them I think I got six coming to my store so now it's only costing me like shipping or uh, handling like a dollar 20 or something so I'm like really good with that and so I thought well I'm going to press my luck I'm going to try to get the other colors and more of the one that I really really want 
that one go through. Same card. Won't go through. Try another card. Won't go through. Try another card. Won't go through. So I have to go to my favorite discount store today. And there is a Dollar Tree two stores down. Which I've gone to several times. And they always say they don't have yarn. And they don't have yarn. So I talked to the manager today. They again don't have yarn. They never get yarn at my store. The one closest to me. Never get yarn. She has... Um, it, I guess it's classified as yarn, but it's like, um, I think they call it sachet. You know, it's like the ribbon, um, looks like a lace ribbon that you can crochet with. She does have that. She said that's the closest she ever gets to any kind of yarn. And she can't order it. It just comes or it doesn't come. So cross your fingers that I get yarn this time. I'm very hopeful. And it's going to the store, and it won't be here until the end of the month. But I'm all right with that. If it comes, I'm just really, really happy. So even though I'm not in Wisconsin and buying yarn for 50 cents, which would be so very cool, um, you really should check out his yarn haul if you haven't. Um, you really should. That's kind of neato. Uh, and the other reason, the, and the main reason, that I am even making this video because there's really just not much of my yarny life happening right now. Um, every chance I get, I'm working on this little reader so that I can get to the next step for the tutorial. But I just still have several inches to go before I get to the next step. Um, so, and then, then we have to, like, watch it and see if it even makes any sense. Um, and... Thanks to uh, Trisha Mama Swift for her work at actually writing up a pattern for us. Um, but she's doing it on the, the more complicated one, which is still really simple because, like I said, I'm not a pattern writer. I'm not a designer. Uh, I'm bar barely a crocheter. So um, we're hoping she's going to work miracles and figure out what I wrote. But the main reason is that Stampler Wendy, or Wendy Stampler, I'm assuming is really Wendy is her first name, Never has uh, gotten back to me, and it's been like 10 days. Uh, so she has not um, tried to claim her prize, which was the, and I know, uh, I know, Granny D, I'm going to say this wrong, D. Thompson, Nouveau Yarn, the one skein of Nouveau Yarn. Um, and there's no colorways on this thing, so it's... Unless it's called Nicole. Hmm, maybe it is. Um, but it's by Nicole. So, Stitch Studio is by Nicole. And the two skeins of handmade modern worsted weight yarn in the color... <laughs> maybe we don't know that either. Uh, oh, this yarn's made in India. Most yarn, isn't it made in Turkey? Well, this one's made in India, and this one is called Bouquet, and it is machine washable and dryable, and it's the pinks and purples, or mostly purples, I guess, with a little pink in the middle, even though, you know, my lighting is so yellow. I have to do something about that one day. Sorry, I got a phone call. So, anyway, I'm going to have to go to the... Um, computer in the other room because I don't have room for it in here and we're going to pick the other winner and we'll be right back so the new winner is right here M. Shu Martz and her comment says oh my I love your yarn choices this was such a very generous giveaway congratulations on working your way up to the 500 mark now I uh 500 mark now. That's what I got to do next. Yep, get there. Gotten there. Um, so that's awesome. But this was the, you know, for the one month giveaway, there were 185 unique comments on that video. And M. Shu Martz, please email me at charmedgrammycrochet at gmail.com um, so that I can get your address and I can send you out the yarns. Thank you. Bye. Alrighty, so congratulations to M. Shoe Martz. 
Um, just email me at charmedgrammycrochet.com. Send me your uh, email address or your physical address so I can send out the yarn. And look, the lighting is so much better in here, you guys. Look at how much better it looks. And the pretty colors. Oh, goodness. Maybe they have to do yarn hauls in here. Or maybe it's just a fluke this time that the light is good in here. Um, oh, and one other thing before I go. I wanted to say I was watching YouTube the other day, and uh, I ran across this station. They're newer than I am, or at least, at least subscribers. I haven't, I don't know when they actually started recording. It's a mother and daughter, and they are so funny. They just crack me up. Um, <laughs> they're called the Yarn Closet, and I will try to see if I can link them below in the, you know, in the notes below. And Ross, the smelly guy, I'll try to link him, but you all probably all know who he is anyway. Um, but anyway, just a quick shout out to both ladies because I watched the, like, first couple that were on my phone, but it seems like they weren't the first ones that they've ever done. Um, and I just happened to catch the first one that I actually watched. It just popped up in my news feed, so I thought, oh, I'll check these ladies out. And they're so hysterical. The mother... Oh, you'll have to watch it. But uh, they inadvertently even talk about me and my yarn haul from um, from Lion Brand when the, when the mother, and I can't remember their names, uh, anyway, <laughs> the mother's trying to figure out uh, yardage, and I talked about that in the video, how much yardage to buy or, or something, and um uh, she likes to buy one skein of yarn, and the daughter doesn't understand why she's only buying one skein of yarn. It's so funny. You guys, you just have to watch them. Uh, so, and I don't know which video that one it was, but that one was funny. And the and the ones that I've seen are, their, their interactions are just really cute with each other. Um, reminds me of me and my daughter, and I thought, oh, goodness. <laughs> I'm much younger than the mother, um, and my daughter is a little bit younger than the daughter. So, uh, I can see us in a few years. I think we're going to be just like that. Well, we kind of really already are. <laughs> so, anyway, um, give them a, a look. And thank you for watching and subscribing. And uh, M. Schumarts, get in contact with me. Somebody needs this yarn. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.